Hello, I'm on time. I am so excited. Uh, good morning, Coffee Treasures family. There's my coffee cup this morning. From one of my favorite places to get um, the biggest biscuit in Texas. And it is the biggest biscuit in Texas. You'll have to come and try. If you can read my cup, then you know where it is. Oh, well, maybe not. Okay, well, I'll show you the other side of my cup, too. <clears throat> In full transparency. Breakfast all day. Okay. All right. So, good morning. I hope you had an awesome night. I did. I slept pretty good. So today we're continuing with Jesus Always. Again, I want to give one of these away. I keep checking my email and nobody has emailed me. I will go and pay for postage. I will send it to you free of charge. I have several here at my house um, and I will order more if I need them. So today is uh, the 5th. So yesterday was find joy in me. I am your strength. We'll see what today is. But first, let's pray. God, we just thank you. I just thank you for anyone that is going to come and learn more about your word with me today. Maybe not right now. It may be later. Their coffee time may be later. God, help me to stay consistent with my schedule that I have set forth. Thank you that I was here on time today. God, I just thank you. I know I got very distracted. The enemy will use anything to distract us from what we're supposed to do for you. God, please open our hearts and our minds to what you want to teach us today. Help us to take in these words that Sarah Young has written in a way that sounds like Jesus is speaking directly to us, God, because you do speak directly to us. Sometimes we don't want to be still and we don't want to listen, but God, just please continue to pour into us what you want us to know, what you want us to learn, and in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen and amen. Well, I'm not having camera issues like I was last night, so I don't know what that is. I guess just a challenge. I don't know. Maybe just don't mess with anything that is set up right now because... My camera for YouTube is not lagging, although it takes four hours, four hours to upload a video. So I am going to try to start doing half videos because it takes so long. It's like, that's time consuming. I need to be doing other things other than sitting in here making sure my computer doesn't go to sleep so my video gets uploaded. But today, oh my cat. My cat is meowing in the background. Uh, you probably hear you probably hear my kid. He's watching the wonderful world of Haas on um, his DVD player as he does part of his morning routine. Okay. Let my consolation, my comfort, bring joy to your soul. When Angel, <laughs> I can't speak today. This is what you get in the mornings. It's real. It's real, okay? Haven't had all my coffee. When anxiety is welling up within you, come to me and pour out your heart. Then sit quietly in my presence while I comfort you, helping you to see things from my perspective. I remind you of your heavenly destination, for you are indeed on your way to glory. I infuse my joy and peace into your heart, mind, and soul. When you are joyful, this changes the way you view the world around you. Even though you see much darkness, you can also see the light of my presence continuing to shine. Moreover, the joy in your soul gives you buoyancy, enabling you to rise above the countless problems in your life. Once you have gained this perspective, you will discover that you can comfort others in the midst of their troubles. 
they will find in you the consolation that you have found in me. Thus your joy becomes contagious, infecting those around you with joy in their souls. So as Christians, we are supposed to live in joy. And yes, that does not mean that we have a perfect life. I do not have a perfect life. Uh, it may seem like I have it all together, but I don't always have it all together. And that's why I need Jesus. I need Jesus to be this comfort, to bring me joy. And joy comes from the fruit of the Spirit, too. So if we're walking with Jesus and we're walking in the Spirit of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control, which if it's nine things. It's nine things. And a lot of times it's a juggling act. But... This is, as Christians, this is what we need to strive to be, is walking in the Spirit. Walking as close to Jesus as we can get. And how we do that is we do daily devotionals like Jesus Always by Sarah Young that brings us back to Scripture. And we read God's Word every day. So let's see what the Scriptures have to say today. Because what I love about this devotional is that it takes you back to Scripture. Like, she's just not writing a bunch of stuff about Jesus that Jesus is saying. She takes you back to Scripture, and I love that. 62, 8. 62, 8. Alright, I'm going to have to put this over here. So if you have your coffee, I hope you're enjoying your coffee this morning. Uh, 62, 8. My soul waits silently. Oh, wait. Well, for some reason, I'm starting with 5. I'm sorry. I just have a hard time just jumping in the middle of something so great in Psalms. My soul waits silently for God alone, for my expectation is from Him. Well, that verse is for me, because I'm waiting on something now, and God keeps telling me to wait, that He's bringing what I need, and it's really hard. But that verse that I jumped up there and read, that was for me today. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. In God is my salvation and my glory, the rock of my strength, and my refuge is in God. Trust in Him at all times, you people. Pour out your heart before Him. God is a refuge for us. Selah. God is a refuge for us. So sometimes we have to wait on God. Because he's bringing us something perfect. Okay, 94, 19. I think I'm still going to get me a stand. I'm going to look on Amazon and see if I can find me a Bible stand. Because I think that would make my life a whole lot easier. Now i got to figure out where I'm going to put it on my desk. I, I don't know. It's all good, though. This is We are early in the year, so it's time to figure all this stuff out. Okay, I'm going to actually read <clears throat> 9417, <clears throat> probably through 23. Unless the Lord had been my help, my soul would soon have settled in silence. If I say my foot slips, your mercy, O Lord, will hold me up. In the multitude of my anxieties within me, your comforts delight my soul. I am, I like to walk in faith over fear. But I don't, I don't enjoy driving my car anymore. And I need to go to youth tonight. 
So I'm going to walk in faith over fear, and I'm going to go and do what God has called me to do. And that is to go and meet with this younger generation and to pour his truths. And he wants me to pour a truth that is not going to be popular um, in our small groups if we do them. Um, but it needs to be done. And now I see why I'm anxious and why I'm fearful about getting in my car and driving tonight. Because the enemy is putting all this fear into me. But what I need to do is I need to, in the presence of the enemy, worship God with all I have, with my whole heart. Just worship God. And that's what I plan to do today. I plan to refocus and worship God today. Alright, again, something for me. Maybe something for you too. Your mercy, O Lord, will hold me up in the multitude of my anxieties within me. Your comforts delight my soul. Shall the throne of iniquity, which devises evil by law, have fellowship with you? They gather together against the life of the righteous and condemn innocent blood. Amen. Evil is out there against innocent blood. But the Lord has been my defense, and my God, the rock of my refuge. He has brought on them their own iniquity, and shall cut them off in their own wickedness. The Lord our God shall cut them off. Do you believe that there is going to be a day of righteous judgment? There will be a day of righteous judgment, and you want to be on the righteous side. You do not want to be on the side that God is going to pour his wrath out on. It is not going to be pleasant at all. It is going to be a sad day. Even God is going to be sad as he does that because he wanted so much better for these people, but they chose evil over him. Okay, 2 Corinthians 1, 3 through 4. He sent them Jesus also. He sent Jesus for all. 2 Corinthians, what? 1, 3 through 4. Uh, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord. Am I in the right place? Sorry. Yes. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort those who are in any trouble with the comfort which we ourselves are comforted by God. For as the sufferings of Christ abound in us, so our consolation also abounds through Christ. Now if we are afflicted, it is for your consolation and salvation, which is effective for enduring the same sufferings which we also suffer. Or if we are comforted, it is for your consolation and salvation. And our hope for you is steadfast because we know that as you are partakers of the sufferings, so also you will partake of the consolation. So Jesus is our consolation. Like he is what we get through salvation. Through salvation, we get Jesus and we get the Holy Spirit to guide us and direct us every day. And I tell you what, there is comfort in suffering. I have been through tremendous suffering in my life. I have seen miraculous things happen in my life. All the gray hair that you see, maybe the camera has covered it up, all this gray hair. It's God's wisdom that he's poured, that he has poured into me through some of the bad choices that I've made in my lives, in my life, that has um, caused me suffering. And then sometimes we just go through suffering because there is a bigger purpose. And like it said, so that we can comfort others and so that we can share God's truth. We can share the faithfulness that he has shown us. We can share that we can trust him 
that others can trust him. We can be that light of Jesus. We can be the hands and feet of Jesus. We can be the love and compassion of Jesus because of the things that he has given us. So as I was reading this, it just dawned on me that I have a lighter Bible that I usually use in the mornings. I think I'm going to start using it and just use this for study and just use them both. Because since I'm doing this with you in the mornings, I don't do that in my quiet time anymore. I consider this the first part of my quiet time. And then I go and I do my prayer and my, my journal with God. God shares things with me and I write them down. Because He is pouring into me His wisdom. In the past three years, that is the blessing that I have gotten from having more time to spend with him is that he in my quietness when I shut my mouth and listen um, he is able to pour things into me that he couldn't before because I was too busy I was I was getting ready to go to work I was getting Seth ready for school I was dragging Seth off to school every day and as much as Seth loved the socialization of school he hated the routine of going, and so, but we struggle with it here too. He just does not like to sit down and learn, but he's very smart, and he knows a lot. So I will keep teaching him until he turns 21. He is 18 right now, and I will keep teaching him until he's 21, and I have an education degree. I went to school to learn to teach physical education, but it's the same. It's the same concept. You do lesson plans. You work your lesson plans. Uh-oh. Well, my daughter is calling me, so I am going to get off of here and call her back. But I enjoyed this time this morning. And God bless you all. Have an awesome day. And let me pray real quick. God, we just thank you for the time that you've given us that we can open up your word and we can study it and you can just show us another glimpse of Jesus and what he has for us. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. I hate to rush off, but our children are important. So much love and cyber hugs. Have an awesome day. Join me this afternoon at 5, at 5, for... Uh, ATM Pray and Share, um, Unpacking Passion 2022. Uh, uh, God bless you and your families abundantly, and 